In this video, you will learn how to use the Trios Design Studio design tools. The Trios Design Studio solution is a complete digital workflow with fully integrated CAD CAM modules. This solution is dedicated to dental practices that would like to produce restorations like crowns, inlay onlays, veneers, and bridges in house. After the insertion direction has been set, you will be taken to the anatomy design step, and the software will automatically create and place a valid design. On the right side of the screen, you have got a range of visualization tools which can help you while designing your restoration. There are Preparation, Antagonist, Active Item to change view of the tooth you are working on, Center View Clipping. When activated, the tool clips the scan parallel to the view. In addition, the slider allows you to change the distance of the clipping. This option will allow you to examine contact points from inside the scan. Show texture on scan. Show texture on crowns. Show distance map. When activated, the distance map shows a color coded distance to the antagonist and adjacent teeth. The range of distances shown on the map can be modified using the slider. Minimum thickness surface. When activated and used in combination with the active item slider, it allows you to assess if the design complies with the minimum thickness parameters. Show model from front sets the front position of the scan centrally. Show cross section. It is useful for examining the restoration. You can use it to analyze the minimum thickness or the cement gap, for example. When active, draw a cross section line across a chosen area. When the 2D cross-section window appears, adjust the visibility and set two points between which you wish to measure the distance. The position of the points can be adjusted if necessary. On the left side of the user interface, you have the anatomy design tools and the tooth selector if you work on more than one tooth, for example a bridge. The active tooth is always indicated in the orders overview tooth selector. To change the tooth you are working on, click on the desired tooth in the selector or simply on the design. When in Anatomy Design, you have the possibility to choose the origin of design. You can copy from patient's teeth by using the Copy tool, or use the Smile Libraries. The first option allows you to copy the anatomy of an existing symmetrical or contralateral tooth. Simply place the black cursor on the occlusal surface of the tooth you wish to copy, and click. You can also copy from a pre-preparation scan, and there is more information about this workflow in our video entitled Trios Design Studio Copy Tool. The second option allows to choose the Smile Library you prefer. Just click on the Smile Library icon and browse for the necessary library by scrolling up and down. When the desired library has been found, click on it to save the changes and close the Smile Library window. Now let's move on to the tools. The Transform tool allows you to move, scale, and rotate the model using points on the design. To move your restoration, click on any point of the tooth and drag it sideways. You can rotate and tilt the tooth by clicking and dragging one of the red points. The adjacent arrows illustrate the direction of the orientation. Drag the green points to change the shape of a whole tooth by moving it sideways, back and forth, or up and down, depending on the view. You can click and drag one of the yellow points to change the angulation of the mesial and distal walls. Remember that at any time during designing, you can use the undo and redo options. Next, there is the Morph tool. By using this, you can stretch the tooth in a desired direction. Grab any surface on the tooth or use the provided control points on the cusps. Use Silhouette Morphing to stretch the contours of the design. By using the Morphing tool, you can morph perpendicular to the design and the net around the cursor shows in which direction the morphing is applied. The other method of morphing is by doing that on a plane. You can also morph along one line. Just hold CTRL and design along a vector. Hold SHIFT and scroll the mouse wheel to change the radius of the affected area. Alternatively, you can also use a slider in the design window to change the radius of the tool. Let's move on to the wax knife. Use the wax knife tool to add and remove material to and from the design and to smooth its surface. Click on the chosen option and then on the design to apply the operation. Use Shift and scroll the mouse wheel to change the radius of the tool. 
The wax knife also has the threshold sliders that set the wax knife size and strength. Below you will find number buttons. These buttons have preset values for the wax knife. The first two are for adding material, the next three for removing, and the last one is for smoothing. Another tool here is contacts. In this tab, you can find some useful tools that allow you to make some adjustments and set the necessary parameters for adjusting the contacts to neighboring teeth and the antagonist. The adjacent tool allows you to make some adjustments of the contacts with adjacent teeth by choosing a set value and defining contact point areas. The adjacent tool can cut or stretch your design to get required contact points. The paint and erase tools allow you to indicate a very specific area to set the contact points with neighboring teeth. The occlusal tool allows you to set the distance to the antagonist. Simply set its value and press the green play button. The occlusal tool is only able to cut the design to obtain the right occlusal contact points. The last group of tools is called automatic tools, where you have the possibility to enforce minimal thickness to the required value. So the restoration will not break during production. The value set as the default is the recommended one for the chosen material. It can be changed by you, however, that will not change the visualization of it. When enforced, always check how it may affect the design. Also, here you can click Auto Design to have an optimal design calculated by the software. If you would like to redesign your restoration, click New Design. New Design will, however, require reconnection to the margin line. To do that, click Reconnect to the margin line. That option will also improve your design if you have transformed the tooth a lot during the design process. Depending on the workflows and the type of restorations you design, among the automatic tools you can find the Cut to Gingiva option, available for Bridge Pontic, and the Morph to Pre-Preparation option, available when you have a pre-preparation scan. To learn more about these options, watch Trios Design Studio, Bridge Workflow, and Trios Design Studio, Copy Tool options. Among the anatomy design tools, you will also find the Virtual Dynamic Articulator that allows you to check and adjust your design in dynamic occlusion. To learn more about that, watch our Trios Design Studio Virtual Dynamic Articulator video. When your design is ready, you can click Next and go to the CAM module. If the standard minimum thickness of the material is not adhered to, then you will be informed about that at this moment. You will have to choose one of three options to proceed. Click Enforce to have minimum thickness applied, accept and continue to go ahead without changing the design, or click Cancel to adjust your design. If your design collides with the antagonist, you will be informed by a pop-out that there are hard contacts. You will be given the option to accept and continue, or Cancel and adjust your design. Now you have learned how to use the design tools. Thank you for watching.